exit. Now he's got a 100% rail for brick. There you go. All right, so we're, we're going to watch Chain here. As, oh, he's getting pummeled by the spam. And uh, Chain is, has a very leery jump to red armor. I would not make that jump personally. Uh, oh, Brick's leaving well, again. To be honest, Brick what? does need to leave. He was down at like 20, 30 health after that. So both these guys no. need to leave each other for a what? What? I doubt. No, I, I disagree. He's got a real gun. He's got a real gun. You can take that shot without taking any damage. If you if you take damage taking that shot, you're not doing it right. Now he comes in with he comes in with uh, like 70 health and 20 armor. That fight you don't take. You take the other one. You take the final shot for the rail. You don't take that shit. Uh, Chain now able to pick up the first blood. And uh, he does get hit immediately by a railgun. That's going to soften the stack of chain to about 100-100. Uh, now getting a 150 as he picks up this yellow armor. But now here it is. Chain looking at his first chance at control. Potentially, though, not going to last too long because red armor and mega at the same time. We're trading rails back and forth. Chain backing off to mega. And uh, let's see. Brick's going to get real, uh, red without too much trouble. Does not have a rocket launcher, though. Chain is in position to defend it. Rocket jump up. Rocket jump up. Oh, he, he needs the rocket. Oh, oh well, never mind. All right. It's okay. It's okay. I hope he's not listening to you anyway because that would be like 20 seconds behind, which might explain some of these behaviors. But yeah, <laughs> even saying, would that be funny? Uh, they like, Grease told me to rock jump up 10 minutes ago. Yeah, it'd be funny as shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I did what the shoutcaster said. <laughs> Oh, the God, the voice in my ear that. was not telling me the correct maneuver. Oh wow, we got a big mega health steal. Jane comes in and steals it, but it's gonna be all for naught because Brick has a shotgun, and of course, as we know, shotguns are better than machine guns when it comes down to whittling off just a mere 100 health. So, chain now down by one frag, and um, this is risky to be here for this red armor unless you can hit two great rockets. He does get answered by one though, so hmm. Brick is between. in trouble here. He's got yeah. Wow, that a shotgun blast got the kill. Yep. <laughs> All right. So now so, we're yeah. tied up two to two. Mega health is gonna be a fight, but Chain is gonna be leaving this fight because Brick is just bricking on forward with that LG. So Chain is leaving that early, and actually the point where he left it left him quite a lot of room to go and get that yellow armor by the by the plasma gun. But oh wow, here comes Brick with a little bit more LG going pretty aggressive here, not even going for any kind of attack on Chain over to red armor. He's just going this red armor, it's mine. All you can do is look and cry. So Chain right now going through the teleporter, shedding a few tears here but still staying alive 50 health is coming up that is a huge boon to him right now as we're going to be seeing some more yellow armor coming up here and mega health coming up in a second chain i think all he could do here is throw down grenades like nothing else but oh it's still up brick still is going for it and chain still yeah wow. he's he but here's the problem he was able to get rid there's of the problem amazing. he did that for so long trying to cover his ass going to make that jump that brick was able to go all the way around the map uh, and come out behind him. So, eh, he got away okay. But, uh, you know, he needs to look for that window of opportunity because uh, he spent it spamming nades. Two to two, though, so, you know, as much as we've been uh, kind of you know, going back and forth about some of the decisions these guys have made, uh, we can't fault them for keeping it a nice, close, and beautiful game. Impressive. And actually, we do see an impressive and an exit hit. Wow, that was insane. Okay, so... Brick is actually able to stack up really quickly though. Uh, Red Armor going to be the big fight to play for. Brick has the, the uh, sort of strength at the start of it because he had the Mega. Had the Mega being the very critical word to say. Chain now able to pick up the Red Armor and um, and actually, I was nicely. about to say that Chain would have been a little unwise to maintain that position. Brick was whittling off a lot of that armor fairly well, but now this is going to give Chain not only the armor, but the mega health as well. And it's going to be a clean grab, as we can see here. That rail is going to be whipping nice. right between Chain's legs, uh, just as he yeah, jumps he, at the wrong time. And Chain Brick is hit his. Going, shit, shit, shit. So, so Brick yeah, is fucked did. at this point. He's got 75 health and no armor, and won't see anything for another five seconds. Ooh. Let's see, Chain, mm, opportunity. Uh, there's no reason to, I mean, he's, he's not going to be here. Yeah, no. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes back for that armor. And actually, this is a mistake by Brick. Yeah, Chain was able to basically... Chain made a mistake, and then Brick made a mistake, and then Chain wins. Because 
he capitalized off of Brick's mistake. That's that's what yeah, that was. I would say <laughs> an even bigger mistake was making that rush for Mega Health and uh, what did he do? Jump over Mega Health? Because he got fragged on the left side of it when he was entering from the right, so... Brick uh, lost out on that one, but I was about to say, you know, Chain, he has control here. He's really making sure he keeps control, but at some point he does need to make some frags happen to get a good solid lead here, uh, because we are running out of time. We're nearing the three minute mark. He's up by one frag. He does have a good stack, but if he loses control at this point, it could be very, very bad for him. And as you can see, Chain is a little unsure of what Brick is going to be doing, what angle he's going to be coming from, and how he's going to be attacking. So Chain is a little... he's not quite inside his opponent's head here. He's locked onto a stack. He's definitely focused on keeping that stack. But as far as bringing damage to his opponent, as far as bringing the pain to him, I think Brick has the upper hand here. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. If Chain can maintain control, that's all he needs to do now. Because uh, it's control plus run. Now, look at this LG. It's kind of off and on, and that's going to give Brick an opening into tying this game up. Oh, an immediate... Oh, my God! If ever there was a time to fuck up strafe jumping, that was it, because Brick was set to get the railgun shot, and, and I guess instead just delays the inevitable, but still. Uh, Chain running into the wall saved his skin for just a few seconds. Uh, Brick is now taking a very quick lead. And the question is, can he get control of the map? If we go take a look at Chain, he already has uh, 50 armor, and he's not going up to the plasma. That's where Brick is expecting him anyway. It looks like, uh-oh, railgun shot in the head. Okay. So that's going to be, Brick's like, oh, okay, so apparently you didn't go get this armor. Let me go get it for you. And now I've got 200 armor. And now with only about a minute and 45 left to go, you're kind of in trouble, Shane. Uh, I'm I'm a little bit curious to see what Chain can put together. He does have mega health, but he doesn't really have the armor stack, and he won't have armor for another eight seconds. We'll probably see Brick show up in just a second. Oh, there he is. Nice rail exchanged, but Chain is the worst off, and he's sticking around. He's sticking around with 22 health. This is the obvious play. This is obvious. Ooh, Brick doesn't pick up on it. He just instead he goes, "I'm gonna have a better stack than you. I'm not gonna care. I have the lead. There's only a minute left to go." And that is exactly what I was fearful of from Chain there. I mean, even with that stack, just the way he was playing, just the way he was looking around corners, wondering where Brick was going to be coming from, I was wondering just how long he could keep hold of that stack once Brick start, started to bring the pain. And he was in the position where he needed to. He was down by one frag. Now he's up by one. And even though he's not, you know, completely stacked up to the teeth, you can see that he's playing defensively fairly well, playing through the teleporter, covering his track, and making sure that he has plenty of yellow armor. This is a really good room also just to waste a lot of time in it. and it looks like Brick is going to be more than willing yeah. to make that happen it's and it looks like he's waiting for Chain to bring the fight to him he's not exactly turtling up here but he's saying you know what if you want to make a last stab for it it's got to be on my terms and Brick is setting those terms and look at this and Chain's not going to chase he's going to double back he's trying to force Brick out but <laughs> looks like he didn't take the bait that's going to seal it I think unless Chain can pull off a miracle here He's got a great stack, though. He's going silent, and he finds him. He's now he's got a chase. He's only got 10 seconds left to go, and Brick doesn't knock him down the pad, so this might do it. He's got to hit a great rocket. 62 health for Chain. He hits the rail. Coming back in, and that's going to be the rocket that seals it. Brick survives with about 100 health and armor. It would have taken more than one direct rocket to seal that up for a tie, so Brick wins handedly. 5-3, to three. a nice big chase at the end though, potential tie-up, but not quite enough. Nice back and forth between these two guys. We do, we do see three impressives for Brick, and three impressives for Chain. Uh, slightly better accuracy for Brick, but uh, Rocket Launcher and Railgun, respectively, between Brick and Chain for the best weapons. Hey, pro tip, both players said GG at the end. But I do think that does conclude round one. So we'll be moving into the best of threes on round two. And it looks like uh, we're going to be able to bring all three of them. Not exactly sure what order we're going to be doing that in. But we're going to be looking at Staiwu versus Decoy and Ray versus Brick. So yeah, let's talk a little bit about the altered <laughs> brackets that, that we saw. Okay, yeah. All right. So... Uh, yeah, we do have uh, quite a few upsets, I think, as we would count it for the night. Uh, we've got Saiwu beating out Walter. That's one after word that for it. Interesting uh, match toss by Walter. We've got Decoy besting Swooped in, in the grudge match of, uh, of the century, I would say. Nice little uh, 
Victory, Vindication.